Hello again, GA Connors, back with another video. Today, we're going to be going through how to connect multiple companies to GA Con and use various organizations within QBO to run reports and refresh them consistently. The reports are always going to refresh respective to the company that they are run with. But first, let's start by connecting another organization. As you can see, I am currently signed in with GACon LLC. This is my initial organization I've connected to GACon. To connect another organization, the initial sign-in, you're going to have to sign out from whatever organization you're currently signed in with, and then sign in with the new organization you are attempting to connect. Once you have established this initial connection, it's quick and easy to select between companies in GACon and Google Sheets and use those respective organizations to run your reports. So here it's gonna go ahead and ask whether we'd like to connect where we will say yes. Awesome. Now that we are connected, you can see I am signed in to my new company, QBO Demo. Now to switch between these companies is really quick and easy now that they are both established and connected. And you can do this with as many companies as you'd like within GACon. Going to switch companies or select company, you can see in the drop down here, it's showing me all the available companies that I have connected. To begin with GACon LLC, I'm going to go ahead and switch company. We are now using this company's data out of QBO. I'm going to go ahead and run a report here for you guys. Going into our formatted reports, these are great for presentation purposes. So in our case here, let's just go ahead and run a balance sheet. As you already know with our template setup, you get your set of parameters to choose from initially, your pull settings to select from, and then with our formatted reports, the report style settings, where you can really stylize this report to your liking and either match your company's color scheme and aesthetic or a client's color scheme and aesthetic. I'm going to leave things at their default, again, just for demo's sake here, and go ahead and hit execute. And here we have our balance sheet for GACon LLC. Now, if we would like to run a report with our newly connected company, we're going to go ahead and go to GACon for QuickBooks, switch company. And then switch on over to QBO demo and hit the switch company button here. Now that we have switched companies, I can now run a report with the data out of my second connected company being QBO Demo. We're going to go to the same place, Formatted Reports, and pick a report of our choosing right over here. In this case, let's say we'd like a profit and loss report for our second company here. As always, we've got our parameters to choose from. I'm going to leave things as is. Our pull settings to select from as well, as well as our report style settings. All that being said, I'm going to go ahead and hit execute. And you can see here, I have got my profit and loss for my second connected company being QBO Demo. Now, in the case that we would like to refresh these reports or even add them to one of our automated workflows. You can absolutely do so, and these reports will continue to pull from the company in which they were initially executed with. So if I go to refresh all sheets, just doing a manual refresh here to demonstrate for you guys, refreshing all sheets for all companies, waiting for this to load up, we're going to have our profit and loss refreshed based on the data out of QBO demo. And you can see for GACon LLC, that balance sheet's been successfully updated. In addition to for QBO demo company, that profit and loss has been successfully updated. So as I said, when you go to refresh or include these reports in a, an automated workflow, they are going to continue to pull from their respective companies they were initially executed with. Once you have established that initial connection between organizations by signing out and signing back in, again, very easy to switch between them just by going to GACon and switch company. 
I hope this video was helpful for you guys and cleared up any misunderstandings. You can absolutely use multiple companies with GA Con. We're here to provide for all of your business and accounting needs. Hopefully this video was helpful. Please let us know down below. Give us a like and a comment. Um, let us know what you'd like to see next. We're happy to provide and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.